Spencer Lazara, MMA interviews with the man of the hour, Rafael Cordero, fifth year anniversary for King's MMA. You had so many people out here today. The mat was, there was practically no mat space. Talk about when you first opened this place, getting to this point now, did you envision this? Uh, see this many people here all coming out to see you and the guys? I like to say I'm blessed guy because uh, I have a people around me and dream the same dream as me. If you have this, this place today, because people have the vision long time ago when they moved from shoot the box and they start everything again. I start with small, remember? It was that your small place and then God gave me this place and then we dropped the wall and then we, you know, we made it. We made things happen here. I think the most important thing I never, I always put my faith first. I never say, ah, oh, well, let's see what is going to happen. No, I say, well, I can do, I will. And God gave me this place and so blessed, man. Then uh, today, after five years, two champs, four times nominated coach of the year, three times nominated gym of the year. You know, it's, uh, it's, I just can say thank for all support. You, you know, everything that you guys done for me, you know, just the fans, but all my fighters. And more and more fighters coming to train with us. And uh, this is our... This is our card, our invite, invite card. I, of course, had to ask both Rafael and Fabricio, what brought on such a great evolution in their striking and in their entire MMA game to get to the point where you had a huge year getting two belts? Of course, they attributed a lot of that to you and, and the work done right here in this facility. I mean, talk about the year you've had and getting these guys to that point. Their, their striking has been phenomenal. Yeah, the, the way we work here, we work really hard. I think the, the first step you have to, to put inside the match, you have to break your, if you're lazy or not, if, what do you want for you? What do you want for your future? If you want to open gates, if you want, you know, make things happen, you have to put a couple of things to the side and work hard. No do just camps, for example, people come here, I want to do a camp uh, eight weeks with you guys. Nobody can do miracles. I like to say the results come because these guys work hard for years, years. Every day, it doesn't matter if I have a fight or I don't, I'm still training hard every day. This is the, 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 the fighter's mentality. It makes a lot of difference. When you work with somebody, eight weeks is different when you work with somebody like Fabrice for eight years. Yeah. So you know how the way he thinks, you know, you, you have to know the fighter before you start work with him 100%. So a lot of people come here and uh, I do my job, I do my best, sometimes guys lost. Yeah, it's normal, it's a sport. But if you stay and keep work hard and then you're going to know each other and they're going to start to know a little bit more about the, the, the person, we can take the best inside the person. So this is what we do here. More than train punch and kick, we, not, we start learning about people and make a lot of difference. I had one of the guys that was here at the seminar really wanted me to ask you, your belt system for the Muay Thai, how did you come up with that? Come from Brazil, because in back in the days in Brazil, uh, Muay Thai there was something nobody knew about Muay Thai, back in the days, 35 years ago. And then the government say, okay, you guys can train Muay Thai here if you guys add belts. Yeah. Belt, krang, if you guys add krang. And if you guys do this, we can allow you guys to teach Muay Thai in Brazil. If no belt, it's no martial arts. So this is the reason. We work with the belts because in Brazil to make a sport official, we have to introduce belts down. We have to add belts down. Do you think that had to do with the jiu-jitsu influence kind of working over into it as well? I think more from the Taekwondo influence. Yeah, because the old masters, all those guys come from Taekwondo. And um, this is the reason we work with belts. It is good too. You know, we know in Thailand they don't always do this, but uh, to make the team as a team, to make the kids excited to train, is important. The belt is, is show how good you are inside the gym, how hard you, how hard you work. You, you improve a lot when you work with the kind system, you know. I think it's the future. This is what we do in Brazil. We have a lot of success in Brazil. We're going to do in the United States for sure. Rafael predicted a first round knockout in his fight. Do you see that happening as he does? I can't see it. The way Rafa train now, you know, the way what he does here inside the gym every day, Monday to Saturday, is amazing. He's really motivated. He's almost in a weight. He's a weight. So, yeah, he's a professional guy, family man. I expect all the best. He's not in a party. He don't take drinks. Don't take beer. Yeah. You know, he goes to gym, church, gym, church, church, gym, home, church, gym. So. 
I think guys like him go out, put his hands over, and for sure he's going to bless half one more time. And for Fabricio, of course, a lot of people made out that the elevation was such a big thing, but I know you guys feel like he dominated the fight from the get-go. He, he, he even you know wanted to talk about that and how that wasn't an issue he felt. The rematch is coming up. Talk about that fight, and obviously won't be at elevation this time, so a chance to prove that that was not why he won. Uh, for sure. Well, uh, what I believe, we work hard, but just God know who going to win the fight. Point. This is the first point. Just God knows. Uh, imagine if I, I lost a fight and then I come here, we lost because this, because this. First of all, the altitude was for both. Not just for one fighter, but for both fighters. So altitude doesn't teach punch, knees, and guillotine. I think it's the answer. There you have it. Well, it's always good to see you, and congratulations. This is such a great event you had here today, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Master Rafael Cordero, anything else you want to say? I want to say I want to see you, Spencer, in the gym with us. You have a great Muay Thai, so I look forward to coming here and training with us, spend some time with us, and share knowledge. I would love to come learn from this man. Master Rafael Cordero, Spencer Lazara, thanks for watching.